Hello, what's up you to photograph a running sweat and actually in this tutorial you're going to be learning frequency separation and skin retouching in general from the very start to the very end and later on you're going to be learning how you can easily color grade your photos in just Photoshop. So if at all you want to follow along, check the links in the description for the image so that you can follow along and understand how to do skin retouching using frequency separation. So you can see this is the before and you can see the retouched image also has a color grade and also the skin texture is also left intact within this very image so i'm just going to delete this so that you can understand and learn how to do skin retouching using frequency separation so for beginners frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to bed the image into the high frequency layer and also the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer we have our textures and in the low frequency layer we have the colors so when you divide this very image into two layers regarding colors and textures you are going to end up with the same image after joining the two layers so just come to the background layer right here and simply press ctrl j or you can use command j twice to create those two layers you can double click right there to rename this to low frequency other people call it the color layer so name it to low frequency and up layer is going to be our high frequency so double click to name that to high high frequency so after renaming these two layers hide this and select the low frequency layer remember in the low frequency layer only want to remain with the colors or skin tone so just come right here to filter come to blur and come down to gaussian blur right there and it's going to open up the gaussian blur window right here so look for an area in the skin that seems to have more skin textures so for this area i'm just going to use this pointer and click on the image this area has more skin textures than the rest of the skin so i'll use this area as a reference point so i'll just come left click and, and drag this slide as i'm releasing to see the effect in real time so drag up the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so you just have to stop at the point whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so remember this is the most important step when it comes to frequency separation and skin retouching in general so after blurring out the skin details just come and click ok left click select the high frequency line now activate it remember in the high frequency line only want to remain with the textures so you can see my image right here is a 16-bit image and usually we have 16-bit images and 8-bit images so in order to know the bit depth of the image simply come right here to image mode and you can see mine is checked at 16 bit so we're going to come right here after selecting the high frequency layer, just come to image and come down to apply image and it's going to open the apply image window right here you can see this so then the source is the name of the image the layers come and select the low frequency layer the channel has to be rgb for a 16-bit image you have to put in these settings the blending has to be add or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale has to be 2 type in 2 and offset 0 and leave the invert option turned on and you'll see the textures on this gray layer you can see it is lacking colors so if at all you have 8 right here these settings are going to change from the blending option so change the blending to subtract opacity 100 percent the scale has to be 20 offset 108 and make sure the invert option is not turned on so that is for an 8-bit image but since mine is 16 i'll simply change this back to add scale is 2 offset 0 and i'll simply invert this and hit ok so just come the blend mode right here and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light to get back the image to display the way it was meant to display so after doing that just select both layers by holding down control or you can use command and selecting both layers then press control g or command g on the keyboard or you can simply drag and drop this in this folder icon to put them in a group so you can rename that to frequency separation if at all you want to so i'm just going to name this to frequency separation and hit enter or return so after doing that just open up the group and simply hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer so we're going to come right here under the brushes and right click and select the mixer brush tool and if at all you don't have the mixer brush tool right here you can locate your mixer brush tool below here 
So for whichever tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to display above here. So after selecting the Mr. Brush tool, simply come and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected. And just come right here and select clean brush because as we are working on the skin one Photoshop automatically clean the brush for us as we are dealing with different overring colors of the skin tone. So make sure clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected right here. The weight we are going to be using is 9%, load 75, mix at 90, and a flow of 100%. Make sure also sample oils is not turned on. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be brushing and mixing the skin. So if at all the Mr. Brush tool is showing a plus icon right here like this, simply press the caps lock on the keyboard. Then as you're working on the skin, you have to increase or play around with different sizes of the Mr. Brush tool. To work on an area so if at all you're working on a small area you have to use a smaller brush so what you're going to be doing we're going to be retouching at a distance don't zoom all the way in so in order to mix this area simply left click and hold down using a small brush size left click and hold down and you mix that given area just like that so after mixing it and you feel like you're comfortable with the results remember sample oils is not turned on and we are selecting on the low frequency layer just come and mix so when you're done mixing this area where it is transitioning from one color to another reduce on the size and mix that boundary or bordering area to blend the transition from one color to another so that is what we are going to be doing just mix like that and mix those areas and as you can see the more plastic the image is looking the better the users are going to be having at the end of the process of blending I don't mind if at all the image is looking like a plastic so just come and turn on the texture layer and you can see when you turn on the texture layer you can observe that we still have the textures left intact within this image so just come and hide this and continue mixing and blending the transitions within the skin color just mix those colors then mix and blend those colors increase on the size remember we are using a brush that is remaining within the border or boundaries of a given skin color or tonal range so reduce on the size to work on a smaller area like i said we are retouching at a distance and we don't want to zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you're not going to be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions and you won't be seeing where to blend or retouch better so just come and mix just like that these are areas and continue mixing and blending so always take your time as you're trying to blend and use frequency separation and using the mr brush tool as a technique of skin retouching so i'm just going to blend that quick come to the rest of the body they don't only retouch the face continue working on each and every area that has skin reduce on the size and continue working on all these areas that are containing skin so mix and blend and you can see always follow the strokes of all the way given area shaped to keep and maintain the original skin structure or facial details so i'll just come and mix you hold down and mix a given area then release the left click button to mix on a new area just like that so when you're done mixing the skin or blending the skin tones just come and select or activate the high frequency line you can see the before after before and after even the blemishes have disappeared majority of the blemishes have disappeared from the image so after doing that if i told you want to fine tune the image even more just come and select the lasso tool you can leave it to new selection mode right here and with the feathering of around you're going to be using around 20 pixels yeah, 20 pixels and hit enter. Make sure an alias is selected and simply come and make a selection just like that on the skin. And you have to follow the way the facial structures are shaped. Come back to filter and come to blend, come to gush and blur right there. It's going to bring back the original. Remember, we have selected the low frequency layer before selecting the lasso tool. So for this, simply multiply this radius by three and type in that value. So eight by three. Remember this radius that we had for African separation. So multiply that radius by 3. So 8 by 3 is 24. Just type in 24. 
and hit ok and i'll just continue applying this filter blur and come to gaussian blur and if at all the effect is too much you can right click on the selection simply right click on the selection and come to fade gaussian blur and you can reduce on the effect to your liking and hit ok so this select click out from the selection and that is going to get uh, the job done so for this i only apply this kind of technique on the face area and i don't apply it on the nose area so after doing that you can say before after before after it is time to remove the remaining blemishes from this very face area so in order to remove the blemishes you have to simply select the layer that is containing the textures or the blemishes which is the high frequency layer so just come and select the texture or the high frequency layer so select it come and get the clone stamp tool and simply make sure hardness is zero and soft round brush is selected then also simply make sure the opacity and the flat 100 percent sample is set to aligned and also the sample here is set to current layer because we want to remove the blemishes that are part of the textures or the high frequency layer zoom into the image by using ctrl plus to zoom in and in order to remove a blemish for example in this area look for an area that is close to the blemish and make sure the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to remove hold down the option key or you can use the alternate key if at all you are using pc or windows hold it down and left click near the blemish and simply <coughs> left click over the blemish to replace it with a clean skin so that is how you can simply use the clone stamp tool to remove the blemishes so i'm just going to be repeating that right now so in order to remove a blemish for example this one move closer to the blemish and simply hold down the option key or the op alternate key on the keyboard and left click on a clean area that has no blemish but it is close to a blemish then simply release the option key and simply left click over the blemish to replace that blemish with clean skin so basically that is like how you can easily clean up and remove skin imperfections or pimples or acne or blemishes from your images so that is how you can easily clean your images up so i'm just going to be doing this quick because i don't want the tutorial to be a long one so i'll zoom out by using ctrl minus and you can see right now we are done retouching the image using frequency separation so basically this is a before and after before after so in order to add a tiny bit of color grading we are simply going to come to adjustments right here and simply come to here and saturation and after doing that just come to master and simply select reds come under the lightness and simply drag the lightness down just like that and that is going to remove all the yellow tones from the skin and make it look a little bit natural come the adjustments and simply come and select black and white and simply change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to multiply to add more contrast and reduce on the opacity by taking a, down the opacity slider then come here and simply select one final selective color adjustment layer then come to the blacks and simply intensify the blacks by taking up the black slider and simply cool down the image by moving the slider towards the yellow which is the opposite moving it towards the blue side which is the opposite of yellow basically so after doing that you can see image has been retouched and just color graded with just simple steps so after doing that we're simply going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift alternate shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard that is for windows then for mac it is shift option command e to create a stamp visible layer then come to filter and come to camera raw filter and we just want to cool down the image because if at all you're doing a melanin skin tone simply want to cool down the image so just come and take down the temperature to around negative seven okay negative five is fine and hit okay and the next thing after retouching is we want to save the image as sharp as possible so let's say before and after before saving the image so this is the image before after before after so after that simply come right here to file come to export and come to export as it is going to open up the export as dialog box right here so under this what we have to do we are simply going to change the file settings to jpeg quality 100 percent resample make it make sure you select by cubic sharp and simply select 
convert to SRG and also embed color profile. If I told you don't want your photo to change in color when you post it or print it out on social media or print out the photo. So after doing that, simply hit export and you can simply choose a location where you want to save the image. So basically, this is how you can simply do skin retouching using Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.